हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अ थर्ड पार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज 7.1 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर एंड हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 21 इंक्रीज अ प्राइस ऑफ रुपीस 200 बाय 10% एंड देन डिक्रीज द न्यू प्राइस बाय 10% is the final price same as the original one so here the original price is rupees 200 okay first write down the original price that is rupees 200 now first you have to increase it by 10% so here the next price will be at the next price will be 200 and here increased by 10% that means 110 By hundred, so that one equal to two two zero. Okay. After that, decrease it by ten percent again. So therefore, the last price equal to two two zero and decrease. Decrease means hundred minus nine ten. That means ninety. So yeah, zero zero cancel out. So this one equal to nine two zero eighteen and one nine eight. Okay. So it means original price equal to 200, and here the last or final price equal to 198. So the final price and the original price are not same. Now next one, num number 22. Now next one, sum number 22. Chandni purchased some parrots. 20% flew away, 5% died. Okay. So first we write down flew away. That equal to twenty percent. Died equal to here five percent. Of the remaining forty five percent were sold. So first you have to write down the remaining percentage. So here the remaining percentage equal to remaining percentage equal to hundred minus twenty plus five. That one equal to seventy five percent. Okay. So as here seventy five percent is the remaining percentage. Now of the remaining percentage, forty five percent were sold. Okay. So first let total number of parrots here x. Okay. So that means here remaining. So remaining number of parrots that one equal to x into seventy five by hundred. Okay. That means seventy five x by hundred. So now, as here forty five percent were sold, that means you can write down number of sold parrots that are equal to seventy five x by hundred into forty five by hundred. Clear? So as here five nines are forty five five two zero. Here also seventy five. So if you divide it. By 25, it's 3, and that one equal to here 4. So here it's 27x divided by 80. Okay, so that is the number of sold parrots. So now you can easily find out the remaining number of parrots. So again, the remaining number of parrots. That one equal to here as 75x by 100 is the first remaining. Then you have to subtract. 20x by 80. So here 180. Okay. So first you have to find out the LCM of 180. That is 50, 40. Then next one here, if you divide it, so 25. Yeah, 20 divided by 5, 5 and 4. So as here 5, 5 is 25. 25, 4 is 100, and here 4. So it's 400. So 400 means here first you have to multiply 75 into 4, and that is 300x. Next one here it's 5. Okay, so 27. 27 into 5 that one equal to 135x. So 300 minus 135 that one equal to 165x by 400. Now you can divide 165 by 5. It's 33, and this one equal to 80. So 33x by 80. So as here remaining number of parrots is 33x by 80. So 
so according to the problem you can write down 33 x by 80 that one equal to here 33 okay so 33 33 cancel out so x equal to 80 as your final answer now next sum number 23 a candidate who gets 36 percent marks in an examination fails by 24 marks okay so as your 33 sorry 36 36 percent marks and failed by 24 marks but another candidate who gets 43 percent marks get 18 more okay get 18 more marks than the minimum marks here 18 more marks than the minimum marks find the maximum marks and the percentage of pass marks so for that one first you have to write down here let x be the maximum marks okay x be the maximum marks and y be the minimum marks okay i repeat let x be the maximum marks and y be the minimum marks so here a candidate who gets 36 percent in the examination and also failed by 24 marks that means here x into 36 by 100 that 1 equal to y minus 24 okay and the next one the next candidate who gets 43 percent marks in the examination and 18 more marks than the pass marks so here in that case x into 43 by 100 that one equal to y plus 18 okay so that means here 36 x equal to 100 y minus 2 4 double 0 and here 43 x equal to 100 y plus 1 8 double 0 so you can write down here 100 y equal to 36 x plus 2 4 double 0 and from that equation 100 y equal to 43 x minus 1 8 double 0 so here you can write down 33 x plus 2 4 double 0 that one equal to 43 x minus 1 8 double 0 okay so 36 minus here 43 it's here minus 7 x and here 1 8 double 0 plus 2 4 double 0 that one is minus 4 2 double 0 so minus minus cancel out 7 6 the 42 that means here x equal to 600 okay so as here x equal to 600 that means maximum marks equal to 600 now next thing you have to find out the minimum marks also so as here you know 100 y equal to 36 into x so 36 into 600 plus 2 4 double 0 so here 36 into 600 it's 216 plus 24 double zero so 24 double zero it's 24,000 that means here y equal to 240 okay so that is the maximum marks and that one is the minimum marks now you have to also find out the percentage of the pass marks so here the percentage of the pass marks that is definitely here y by x into 100 okay the percentage of the pass marks is y by x into 100 because here y is the minimum s is the maximum so here you can write down 240 by 600 by 600 into 100 so here 10 will be cancelled not the 21 okay here 00, zero cancel out so it's 40 that means 40 percent okay so maximum marks equal to 600 and percentage of the pass marks that is 40 percent now the next one some number 24 the sides of an rectangle are 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter so length equal to 20 centimeter breadth equal to here 15 centimeter if each side increase by 20 percent find the percentage increase in the area so here area equal to 20 into 15 that means 300 meter square now the new length here capital l 
as 20 percent increase so 120 by 100 then 0 0 cancel out that you know 24 new breath capital b 15 into 120 by 100 so 0 0 cancel out here 5 3 is a 15 5 2 and then it's 6 so that equal to 18 so here the new area that is a1 suppose so here 24 into 18 that is 432 meter square okay so here percentage of area that means increase percentage of area here 432 minus 300 divided by 300 into 100 so here 0 0 cancel out now 432 432 minus here 300 you can write down this one as 132 okay so 132 by 3 and then divide uh, it's 44 okay so 132 by 3 that equal to 44 percent so 44 percent is your final answer now the last one some number 25 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in 25 Imran gives 1% of his monthly income to his two sons as pocket money. Okay. The elder son get 80% of the total amount given and he spend 80% of his share. If he saves rupees 60 per month, determine Imran monthly income. So here first let the total amount of monthly income that equal to rupees X. And as here Imran gives 1% of his monthly income to his two sons. So here 1% of rupees X that one equal to X by 100. Clear? Now here the elder son gets. So here the amount of elder son. Elder son get 80% of the total amount. So 80% of that one X by 100. So, you can write down this one as x by 100 into 80 by 100. Okay. And he spent 80% of his share. So, first you find out the share. So, here 00, 0 cancel out. Then it will be here 8x by 1000. Now, as he spent 80%, so spend, so spend amount that one equal to 8x by 1000 into here 80%. So again 0 0 cancel out and that one equal to 64x by here 10,000. Okay. So that means here remaining amount. So remaining amount equal to 8x by 1000 minus here 64x by 10,000. So here LCM equal to here 10,000. So that one equal to here 80x minus 64x. Okay. So 80 minus 64, that one equal to 16x by 10,000. So according to the problem, you can write down this 16x, that one equal to here, rupees 60. Okay, 16x equal to here, rupees 60. So that means x equal to here, 60 into here, 10,000 by 16. Okay, so here... If you divide 16 with 10,000, it becomes 6 to 5 and then here multiply with 60 and that one equal to here 37,500. So, 37,500 is your final answer.